guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is hallie for those of you who don't know and in today's video we are going to be doing a bye bye second trimester video i am so excited to be filming this video i'm so excited to be out of my second trimester because that means i only have three more months left to go and i am just super thrilled and i just want to meet my baby now i wanted to share with you guys kind of a recap of my second trimester and for those of you who are new moms or maybe entering into the second trimester or who are in the second trimester or maybe not pregnant at all and are just wondering like what a second trimester of pregnancy feels like and all of the changes that your body goes through then keep watching the video alrighty so I'm gonna get into my symptoms of what I had when I was in my second trimester first symptom is basically that the baby moves a lot and it's such an increased movement from when you first feel the move whether that's at 16 weeks or 18 weeks but my baby has been moving a lot they're definitely like more distinct movements like I'll feel the baby move under my ribs more so to the left side or to the right side of my hip which is super uncomfortable they got no room in there so movements are pretty big so instead of that little jab or like kick now it's like a twirl or like a full 360 like they're doing somersaults in your stomach basically so that is one of my first things that i have experienced is my baby has been moving a lot and giving me really painful movements so pregnancy is great <laughs> another thing that i have experienced is baby hiccups now these are really weird imagine like something in your stomach that just keeps hiccuping it's it's so weird it's like a twitch or sometimes it can be painful so again it's just something that i have not gotten used to yet and i think that it's such a weird feeling and i don't think i'll ever be used to it but it's nice knowing that you know it's my baby inside that's moving and doing all these amazing things and growing so that kind of puts my mind at bay <laughs> another thing that i have been feeling during this pregnancy let me tell you is shortness of breath like i just had um, i've had shortness of breath and extreme like fatigue so i've been really tired recently and i find that even right now like i've been talking for two minutes and 11 seconds and i'm dying Maybe my mango will help me, I don't know. Another thing is back and pelvic pain. Oh my God. I feel like, uh, I don't know, I just feel so old. Like I feel like really like worn out and I'm not even doing anything. Like I can lay in my bed for half the day and then I my back is just aching or I'm having like really bad pelvic pain and it's due to like the baby moving around a lot and it's also due to like my muscles and my ligament stretching. So that just sounds peachy in itself so that is something that i have been experiencing in the second trimester the back and pelvic pain and it is the worst thing ever i just another thing that i have been noticing too is i've been having a lot of sleeping difficulties say that when you're pregnant you're supposed to sleep on your left side just because it helps pump nutrients and blood and oxygen to your baby so i've been trying to sleep on my left side which it's been a breeze because i've always slept on my left side but for some reason baby likes when i sleep on my right so i've been doing a little alternate sleeping and sleeping difficulties have been worse in the sense of uncomfortableness i always feel like i'm squishing the baby in my tummy i have a pregnancy pillow it helps and i honestly i'm in love with it i love my pregnancy pillow so much like i couldn't sleep without it Another thing that I'm going to talk about is nail growth and hair growth. So my nails have been growing so much. Um, I don't really want to show them on camera just because I haven't done them recently. But like, I'm going to just show you guys. This one's a little sad. I broke it the other day. But my nails have been growing so freaking much. And I'll cut them. Say, for example, like I'll cut my nails today. They'll grow back to like their full length within like four days it's insane and my hair has been growing so much you can't tell because i have it in this little i don't even know what this is but i have it in this little rat tail and um yeah it's been grown so much so that's like a benefit of the second trimester of pregnancy i don't know if any other moms are feeling this but it's a blessing in disguise let me tell you but one of the downsides that i have had is dry skin I've been getting like a little bit of like eczema on my hands and I don't know if it's because of the 
COVID and just like me over washing my hands 24 seven. So I don't know if it's stripping like the natural oils in my skin, but I've been having dry skin and a little bit of eczema and then just a little bit of bumps here on my stomach, but they're not too bad. Usually after I moisturize them, they just go away. The thing that I've been noticing is that me not knowing when to take a break i have been organizing and getting into my nesting mode so everything is just storage boxes and getting organizers and i'll show you guys everything in another video of how i am nesting right now and you'll know more about what i mean but basically i'm just getting a lot more organized so i don't know when to quit because to me cleaning is fun so that is that's great when I say it out loud. Cleaning's fun. Being a psychopath is fun, basically. But yes, I have been experiencing like swollen ankles, even if I'm not on my feet for too long. Like if I'm standing up or like doing a workout, my ankles will swell like a little bit. Or if I just have been on my feet more that day and didn't really take time to sit down and relax. Uh, while I was doing some of these activities, then my ankles will swell. But usually my tips and tricks for anything like your back pain, ankle, anything like that, if anything's hurting, do prenatal yoga and have a bath. I've been having a bath literally every night and you don't want your water too hot. Like you want it like lukewarm or just warm. And I've been putting lavender in my baths and it has been working wonders. It takes literally all of my stress away and it takes all of that geekiness away too. So that is definitely my tip for new moms like me is that baths do help. Just don't make them too hot because you don't want to induce yourself or anything. I have been dealing with moodiness. Um, my, I wouldn't say I'm extremely moody, but in the second trimester I was very and now my aura is becoming more cleansed and it's like balancing itself out which is better i'm just like all in all i know i'm at the home stretch like i'm almost there finish lines right here i'm here i'm gonna get there and i am just so excited so i think that's why my mood has been lifted a lot recently i mean aaron can definitely agree second trimester me was just like <laughs> he could punch me in the face basically i that sounds really harsh, but he could do it, I swear, because <laughs> I was just brutal sometimes. But just know, mamas, if you are moody, you're not alone. Everybody goes through it. We've all had periods before. Guys even have their moodiness. And like you being pregnant, you're creating a life. So like you're allowed to be moody, that's fine. So my baby has been adapting to regular sleep patterns and has been waking me up at the same time every morning being five o'clock to go pee. I'll sleep for like an hour interval and then the baby will start moving again and it'll wake me up. Another thing on my body that I have been dealing with is stretch marks. I haven't been getting a lot of stretch marks. I have that dark line on my tummy, but it is very faint. I know all moms get it at like some point or if you don't, but I think majority of moms do get that dark line. I forget what it's called, but is I have a little bit like the tiniest bit like under my boobs, which it's just, it's okay. Cause like, can't really see them, but I have been getting it on my butt because I also have noticed that since I have gained 40 pounds, half of it is to the baby and the other half of it is to my ass. So that's great. I'm not complaining, but you know, I am not happy about the stretch marks, but it's all a part of pregnancy and it's beautiful and that is the reason why I love them there but other than that though I have been doing everything that I can to prevent stretch marks in general I mentioned the products that I used in my last video to do that so if you haven't seen that video go check it out it is the ultimate pregnancy night routine pamper night routine um, it was my video before this so yes definitely check that out if you want to learn about some prenatal tips and tricks for stretch marks. I basically would just say like that the second trimester has been a blast and it's so exciting to see your baby grow and to see your baby move and to feel their movements and have really distinct movements and see yourself grow and see how like how much your body changes because being pregnant you don't realize like how amazing a woman's body is or like how amazing your skin works because it's like so 
like the elasticity of it is just like whoa incredible since i'm having a pandemic baby i don't know why i'm giving you guys some aggressive movements look at my cats we won't be able to have like a baby shower which is something that is a little upsetting just because you know i wanted to see all my family before the baby's born and just get to like celebrate with everybody and be with everybody and just share the celebration there are multiple things that like i know some moms are doing like virtual baby showers but it would just be so hard to coordinate because our baby shower is like as big as a wedding so we are so thrilled because we're gonna do like a sip and see after we decided that once everything is presumed safe and we can have like a social gatherings again we're gonna have a sip and see with the baby actually there and it's gonna be amazing i think that it's better that way anyways and we'll do it after like two three maybe four months after and everybody will get to meet the baby which is great i just wanted to kind of make like a bye bye second trimester video because this is so exciting like the next time i'm going to be getting on here getting ready for the baby and like getting my hospital bag ready and it's just going to be so exciting to look back on all these videos and just see how much of a growth that i had from my first to my second to my third and then bam babies here so i just wanted to say thank you guys for tuning into today's video and thank you for following me along on my pregnancy journey i am so thrilled that i am in my third trimester and to all of you mamas out there who are in your second trimester or getting into your second trimester believe me when i say it is a blast it is a blessing and you get to see your body grow and you get to see all amazing things that your baby can do so i'm just here to say i hope you enjoy it and enjoy every second of it because it flies by so quick i can't even explain it if you guys haven't already follow me on instagram it is on my channel page in the top hand corner where my banner is and you can click on the link you can follow me on there to keep updated on all things pregnancy and all things Hallie, I guess. <laughs> but without further ado, guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning into today's video, and I will see you next Sunday in my next video.